What is the scariest natural phenomenon you have ever seen? Do you know the reason behind the formation of desert crop circles? Curiosity drives people to want to explore the unknown, from singing rocks to the world's oldest tree. In this issue, we will bring you 10 of the rarest natural wonders. On a mountain in Pennsylvania, USA, there are peculiar rocks that produce a sound similar to the strike of a cymbal when they collide. If multiple rocks collide simultaneously, they create a delightful musical effect. In the 18th century, Native Americans considered these rocks as natural instruments. Local people claim it to be a natural phenomenon, but the rocks themselves are not particularly unique. They are a mixture of iron or other hard rocks and various stones. Geologists have conducted experiments and discovered that when the rocks are struck, they produce low-frequency tones that are inaudible to the human ear. When multiple rocks strike together, these tones interact and generate a high-frequency sound that can be heard by humans. However, the exact reason behind this phenomenon remains unknown. It is speculated that some unknown factor increases the internal stress of the rocks to an unimaginable extent, causing them to create sound waves when touched or struck, which then vibrate the surrounding air. Every year, thousands of visitors come to this site, often carrying hammers, just to experience this rock orchestra. The Natural Pinnacles Formation is one of the most unusual geological wonders in the California desert. This unique landscape consists of over 500 limestone pinnacles rising from the Searles Dry Lake Basin. These pinnacles can reach heights of up to 140 feet, resembling an array of soldiers on an ancient battlefield. The pinnacles vary in length, height, and shape, with some being smooth, others resembling honeycombs, and some even resembling camels or ancient ruins, creating an eerie atmosphere. They are formed as tree stumps and roots gradually mineralize into stone under specific conditions. During ancient times, this area was covered by forests, and the blowing sand from the nearby coast gradually formed the sandy terrain. After the primeval forest withered away, the sand was blown away, leaving behind the limestone remnants trapped within the roots. Over time, these remnants underwent varying degrees of weathering, resulting in the formation we see today. While admiring this wonder, one unforgettable experience is the abundance of small flies that unabashedly swarm into your eyes, nose, and mouth. Wearing a veil or hat with a net allows you to enjoy the beauty of the scenery without any disturbances. For decades, scientists have been puzzled by the origin of the strange and perfectly formed circles in the eastern part of Namibia desert. These circles appear to be uniformly distributed, as if someone meticulously used cookie cutters on the ground. The indigenous people of Namibia believe that the fairy circles are the work of deities, with some even claiming that they are the footprints of the god. The fairy circles can reach diameters of up to 20 meters, and satellite imagery indicates that there may be millions of these circles in the region. What makes them even more intriguing is their tendency to disappear after long periods of drought, only to mysteriously reappear after heavy rainfall. Scientists have been debating various hypotheses to explain the existence of even a single fairy circle. It is speculated that termites may be chewing on plant roots, or that certain grasses are somehow causing this pattern. Other theories propose soil degradation caused by toxins or even the possibility of extraterrestrial beings considering this desert as a potential landing site. One of the most convincing explanations suggests that the mature grasses in the center of the circular patches absorb water, competing for available water resources and causing the newly germinated grass to die in the center, thus forming the circles. However, no one can explain why the grass doesn't grow in the center first, or why the fairy circles are so evenly distributed. This is one of the most captivating mountains in the world, located in the central part of Bohol Island in the Philippines. Its shape is incredibly unique, as it is not a towering peak, but rather a cluster of 1,268 cone-shaped hills. It is called Chocolate Hills because during the dry season, the green trees covering the hills turn brown, resembling rows of chocolate on the land. The Chocolate Hills used to be a relatively unknown set of hills, but they gained fame after being featured in the Harry Potter films and were even depicted on the 200 peso bill. 
Those who have seen the Chocolate Hills know that their appearance is vastly different from other mountains. As a result, many scientists and geologists have studied how the Chocolate Hills were formed. Some theories propose that they were created through processes such as limestone weathering and marine volcanic eruptions. Currently, the most widely accepted explanation among experts is that the hills were formed by the scattering of rocks from volcanic eruptions, which were later covered by limestone. Over thousands of years of weathering and tectonic movement, the hills took on their present-day appearance. This beach is located in the southeastern part of the South Island of New Zealand, facing the Pacific Ocean. The magical aspect of this beach is the presence of over 50 spherical boulders, with the largest one measuring up to 2 meters in diameter and weighing several tons. These boulders are scattered across the beach, creating a unique and fascinating sight. According to the locals in New Zealand, these massive stones were formed over 1,000 years ago when a ship carrying gourds washed ashore in New Zealand. The gourds were washed ashore, and over time, they transformed into these large boulders. However, as we all know, this explanation is merely a legend. After conducting research on these spherical boulders, scientists have uncovered the true process of their formation. The formation of these boulders is quite similar to the formation of pearls. Over the course of geological ages, a coarse substance such as calcium and carbonate, derived from materials like shells and coral fragments, slowly crystallized and accumulated layer by layer. To form boulders of such size, approximately 4 to 5 million years would be required. According to geological studies, these large boulders were formed between the Paleogene and Neogene periods, approximately 65 to 33 million years ago. Therefore, we can understand these enormous boulders as giant pearls nurtured by nature. If you have the opportunity to visit New Zealand, this landscape is definitely worth a visit. Located on Jekyll Island along the coast of Georgia, Driftwood Beach is a beautiful subtropical vacation destination. It is also situated at the southernmost tip of Georgia's Golden Isles, renowned for its rich wildlife and well-preserved history. Driftwood Beach is found at the northern end of Jekyll Island. It is a hauntingly beautiful place characterized by the relentless erosion that has created a landscape of weathered dead pines and water oaks, bleached by the sun and scattered across the smooth sandy beach. Unsurprisingly, the sunsets here are particularly captivating against the backdrop of twisted natural sculptures. As you walk towards the end of the beach, it becomes increasingly secluded and otherworldly. The clear seawater often teems with various crabs, fish, and other marine creatures. When you've had your fill of play, you can retreat to the Jekyll Island Club Resort, a 19th-century resort located just a 10-minute drive away from the beach. If you're looking for a relaxing vacation, this is the perfect place to be. This is one of the rarest mushrooms in the world, known for its star-shaped appearance and the surprising fact that it emits smoke. The Devil's Cigar is also known as the Texas Star and is typically found only in two locations, Texas, USA, and Japan. In its normal state, the Devil's Cigar resembles a cigar, but when it matures and releases spores, it slowly opens up, accompanied by a crackling sound and the emission of smoke, until it fully blooms into a star shape. This mushroom is extremely elusive, and you can only find it in decaying oak stumps or dead roots. Like other mushrooms, it thrives in damp and shaded environments. The temperature and humidity in Texas between October and April are particularly favorable for the growth of the devil's cigar, making it a paradise for this unique mushroom. Just imagine a row of these mushrooms simultaneously cracking open and emitting smoke, it truly resembles the act of smoking a cigar. Some natural phenomena are not seen but heard. In the town of Taos, New Mexico, USA, certain residents and visitors have been plagued by a mysterious and faint low-frequency humming sound in the desert for years. Interestingly, only 2% of the population in Taos claims to have heard the sound, describing it as the noise of heavy machinery moving on a highway, despite the absence of any nearby highways. Strangely enough, even the most sensitive sound detection methods that surpass human hearing capabilities have failed to detect this noise. Some believe it to be the result of unconventional acoustic effects, while others suspect mass hysteria or unknown malevolent factors at play. 
Regardless of the explanations given, whether psychological, natural, or supernatural, no one can pinpoint the exact source of the sound. Occasionally, more logical explanations are found, such as in the case of Kokomo, Indiana, where the hum was eventually traced back to a Chrysler automotive plant. However, the enigmatic hum in other places, including Taos, remains a mystery. The dragon's blood tree originally grows in the Canary Islands and Morocco. Unlike other trees, its branches grow upwards and its trunk takes on a fan-like shape, making it easily recognizable. This tree is one of the longest living tree species in the world. It grows extremely slowly, with the trunk thickening less than a centimeter per year. It takes several hundred years to fully mature, and its average lifespan can reach up to 8,000 years, earning it the title of the Methuselah of the Plant Kingdom. There is also a very ancient legend surrounding the origin of the dragon's blood tree. It is said that in ancient times, a battle took place between a giant dragon and an elephant. The dragon was wounded and its blood spilled onto the earth. Eventually, trees grew from the soil stained with its blood. When these trees are injured, they release a red resin-like substance, which is referred to as dragon's blood. This name is widely accepted as the tree sap, once solidified, is indeed used for medicinal purposes, particularly for its remarkable ability to stop bleeding. Therefore, the name dragon's blood tree is well known and recognized. One day in 2005, local residents in Ethiopia were astonished to discover a massive crack in the land they inhabited. Initially, people were briefly surprised but didn't pay much attention since many cracks tend to heal over time and don't significantly impact the lives and livelihoods of the local population. However, to everyone's surprise, this crack not only didn't heal but continued to widen over time. When people eventually took notice of this ominous scar on the earth, its total length had reached an astounding 56 kilometers. As the rift continued to expand, rumors of an impending doomsday judgment began to circulate. If the crack continued to deepen into the African continent, it could potentially split it in two, causing massive destruction to the surrounding areas, including human settlements and infrastructure. This is the most terrifying scenario imagined by some. Many local residents near the rift offer prayers and offerings of fruits and pastries, hoping to appease the wrath of the gods. Scientists do not believe that the formation of the Great Rift Valley is a result of divine anger. Yet, if the rift continues to develop, Africa could indeed face doomsday. The continent would be split in two, with seawater pouring into the rift, displacing countless inhabitants from their homes. The world would witness the emergence of a new ocean, although this process might take millions of years due to plate tectonic movements. All right, those were the 10 most rare natural wonders we brought to you. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to my channel for more. See you in the next episode.